Hi there folks, wanted to give you another update on my vault tech dosometer project. Uh, for those who haven't seen the earlier videos, uh, the vault tech scientists in the game Fallout 4 wear this on their pocket. And so what I've done is designed a fully functional dosometer, which is basically a Geiger counter that uh, keeps a cumulative total. And then uh, this is going to be good for both real use and for cosplay or uh, or anything else you want to use it for. Uh, so this is the circuitry over here, it's an MSP430. Uh, this is a little bit larger one than I was using before. And there's a motor controller board that is on the bottom of it. Motor controller is hooked up to this little gauge needle over here. And then there's a speaker inside this chamber, which will end up on the side of the dosometer. And then right here, I have a Hall effect sensor that I use as a magnetic sensor uh, for simulated effect. And over here is the uh, basically the PG, the Pi Geiger counter that uh, I found online. It's actually made for Raspberry Pi. It works really well for this application. And this little silver tube here is a real Geiger tube, uh, about one of the smallest ones you can get. Over here is a backlight controller and LEDs simulating the backlight. Uh, this gauge will actually be, let me turn my light down here. The gauge will be fully backlit with control. And then the rest of this is kind of interfacing circuitry. For example, this one simulates turning on the power to the Geiger counter, which is hardwired right now. Uh, this one simulates turning a high voltage or 10 volt rail on, which I use for the motor control um, and the backlight. And then uh, the rest of this is kind of interfacing circuitry, voltage divider for measuring the battery's uh, status, a main switch here, a secondary toggle switch, this will be on the front of the dosometer. Currently it switches the backlight on and off. And then also allows you to uh, check the battery voltage. All of this electronics will eventually go into my Pit Boy. So this is the prototype of the Pit Boy here. Uh, you'll see this in a future video. And then this is why I'm posting an update today. I got two things from United Nuclear. One of them is uranium ore. The other is a lodestone, basically a, a natural magnet. So let me kind of show how this guy's going to work here. Down the camera. All right, so let's start with a real piece of uranium ore. So this is a real piece of uranium ore. It says it's got uh, 3,000 counts per minute off of it. Now this Geiger tube is not the world's most sensitive Geiger tube, but this shows that it really works. So you can hear the Geiger counter clicking away over there. And the needle on the gauge goes up along with counts. Right now it's kind of low. There we go. Now, of course, you would not want to take a real piece of uranium or anything radioactive if you were, say, wanted to go to a cosplay event wearing this dosometer as part of your Fallout cosplay. So, with the flick of a switch, this is now a simulated Geiger counter. And what I can do is take the lodestone. It's actually picking up. I got a magnet over here that's holding that up. Uh, so let's say you can pretend this is your uranium core. The closer this gets to the magnet or the Hall effect sensor, the higher the count. And again, the needle will go up. Now it's just kind of bouncing around at zero. This isn't actually a super strong uh, magnet, this lodestone, so I need to recalibrate this. Take a much stronger magnet like this, 
Take those up. And then the needle drops over time. So once I get all this kind of uh, circuitry completed, I still got to test the voltage boost circuit, the battery charger circuit, and a few other things. This will all get down to a single circuit board, just this big. So just as an example, this is a, about the smallest Geiger counter circuit you're going to find, and I'm going to have to shrink it down so it fits on here, along with all a lot of the rest of the circuitry. So, if you're excited about this project, keep on watching. I'll have future videos. Um, I don't do anything particularly fast, so things come and go, or come as I, as I work on them. If you're interested in the Pip-Boy project, there's a thread on the RPF for that. And there's a thread on the RPF for the uh, Voltec dosometer also. All right. Thanks for watching.